Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's time for my favourite video of the year, genuinely, and it's what I got for Christmas. I love filming these so much, it was my second ever video that I posted to YouTube ever, um, three years ago, so this will be my fourth what I got for Christmas. Wow. And I have a lot of presents this year. I just want to warn you, this could be a long video. As some of you may have noticed, I did not do a what I got for my birthday this year. Lots of you were asking me where the video was. They were like, why aren't you doing what I got for my birthday? It's because I was in LA for my birthday, um, so I couldn't really take any presents away with me. And then by the time I got home, it just wasn't really my birthday anymore. So we didn't really do presents. And I was totally fine with that because I was having the time of my life um, in LA and couldn't have wanted anything more than what I was experiencing. I was at Disneyland on my birthday, for goodness sake. So that's why there is so much. I was very spoiled this Christmas. Um, but like I said, it's because we didn't really do presents on my birthday. So let's just jump straight in. First of all, please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And of course, please do subscribe to my channel if you're new. My first present I'm gonna show you is this top that I'm wearing now. This is from Ted Baker and it's so, so pretty. It's just the kind of top that is so me um, and I will wear it so much so it's kind of like a knitted a really nice thin knitted cream jumper and it has this like turtle roll neck with a frill and it has like a little rose gold line on the frill and also it has it on the sleeves here as well this is just so me I'm gonna wear this all the time and I actually think it's in the sale right now so I will link it down below if you wanted to do some sale shopping this week um, but yeah I love this so much um, this what I got for Christmas is actually a little bit Ted Baker crazy and um, I also got some Ted Baker trainers let me just get these out of the paper oh they're so pretty here they are oh my god they are the most gorgeous trainers i've ever seen so it's leathery here and then suede on the toe and then it has this really lovely like crocodile skin style but it's satin and then the cute little rose gold bows at the front and they put two sets of laces inside um so you have to redo them but you can either use like normal laces or you can use these like satin um satin laces then i got something which is crazy exciting you guys know i'm obsessed with luggage i've seen this suitcase a long time ago like in the summer and i was like oh my god that's the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life um and i got the suitcase in the cabin size which is very useful because honestly i use suitcases like mad okay i use them constantly basically i'm justifying the fact that i've got another suitcase they really don't just sit there and get used once a year like i use them practically at least every week. So enough blathering on, and I'm gonna show you the suitcase. Oh, you got a sneak peek here. Ah! How nice is this suitcase? I don't have the words. So this is Ted Baker. Their luggage is always sublime, but this really is the nicest case they've ever done. Like I always keep an eye on Ted Baker suitcases and I have done for like, well, probably like six years and I'm just gonna show you the inside as well because it's so pretty it's all like baby blue inside and it has the little bows and there's all these different little like zippy compartments it's just the most beautiful case I've ever seen I'm so happy that I have it and I'm gonna take really good care of it and as if that wasn't enough I also got the matching vanity case so it has all of these different compartments so i put my cotton wool in here i've got my perfume there my flower bomb and contact lenses and then in here i like unzip this and put my makeup bag in there and then on the other side as well i just unzip this and put all of my products my toothbrush my cleanser blah 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 so here's the handle of the suitcase which is rose gold of course it's ted baker and then this little strap kind of like slots over the handle so basically it means that your oh this is heavy so it basically means that your vanity can like sit on top of the case like that but I am just so delighted with this both of them they are so perfect it's so my style like have you ever seen a suitcase or anything actually that was more like Freddy because this is like the most Freddy thing I've ever seen in my life and then to finish off the Ted Baker first I'm going to show you the last present I got from Ted Baker which you saw in my gift guide which is the pink leather gloves so they're these gorgeous pink leather gloves I think these are in the sale now so annoying well annoying for me good for you 
you and they're just so beautiful I've wanted a pair of these forever literally for years I've wanted like a pair of pink leather Tobacco gloves they always do them and then they change up the style a little bit these ones have like these tiny little rose gold bows there I love them so much and these are actually smart gloves so you can use your touch screen you can use your iPhone when you use these the only thing you can't do is touch ID like your thumbprint so you have to like unlock your phone manually but other than that you can like actually use your phone like it actually works so that's super because that's one of the reasons I never wear gloves because I'm just like I need to use my phone <laughs> so all of those presents were from my family and all the rest of the presents were from my family too apart from these two which are from my boyfriend so first of all he got me this absolutely gorgeous pink cashmere jumper from Abercrombie I've wanted just like a pure 100% cashmere jumper for ages because seriously they keep you so warm and what's amazing about cashmere is it's so so thin and yet it keeps keeps you like warmer than a big thick chunky knitwood um so that's why like they're really amazing and it's unbelievably soft like seriously seriously soft and it was kind of a joke because I bought him one of these um two Christmases ago like a cashmere Abercrombie jumper in grey so he got me the same in pink so you know it's kind of cute because we're like matching now so <laughs> it's really nice and it's just so so soft honestly I can't tell you how much I love this it's like one of my favorite presents and then he also got me and this is so so fun I'm so lucky I'm very grateful um a pair of Ugg boots. I really love Ugg boots and I'm just gonna put it out there because I think every single year on some like magazine like article and it's like 10 trends that need to die in 2017, 2018, every year I swear somebody says Uggs need to die but they don't die and it's because they are amazing because really they're so warm like you just couldn't get a comfier warmer pair of shoes and like I just really like the way they look obviously they can look very bad if you have Uggs that are like five six years old um, and they're really tired and they don't really stand straight and stiff anymore they're like all floppy and you know they look really worn then they look bad but if you wear them with like a really nice top and a pair of skinny jeans and a nice bag like they do look really really cute and as long as they're like nice and fresh looking I think it's such a nice look and it's so comfy I will always be an advocate of Uggs and these are so cute so the ones I have are just the like chestnut brown um the mini ones they're really really low they're like the lowest on your ankle that you can get and he got me the same like style they're so nice except they are with bows and they are this gorgeous like dusky like lilac-y pinky color they're not like as in your face because they come down really low on the leg and they just have one cute little bow so they're not like really over the top they're a little bit over the top but that's me so he got me these and i'm obsessed they are so soft they also have this little like metallic bit at the bottom how pretty how pretty i'm sorry like so pretty so this next thing i'm so excited about because it was actually the only thing that was really on my list this year for christmas i was just a bit like do you know what just anything would be lovely except i really did want this um and it's from kiki k and my dad said that he was really stressed out because it only came the like christmas eve and he ordered it in like november and it only came on christmas eve so just like a warning because he was really annoyed about it so i don't really want to give them like a really good recommendation because he said the shipping was really really bad and very stressful the communication was bad and he didn't even know if it was going to arrive on christmas eve or not which is why i think there were so many other nice presents because they didn't think this would come and then it came in the nick of time which was fab so it's this leather personal planner from kiki k it's mon ground with fcb which i think is why it took a long time to come you can just go to the store and buy these um but you can't get them monogrammed in store it has to be done online it's kind of like a gorgeous girly filofax it has everything so it has a ring binder with refillable sections so you can actually have this um folder forever and kiki k actually sell refills for when you filled it up so you can actually have this um leather monogrammed thing forever and just keep on refilling it it's got card holders a zip pocket to put like receipts in or anything like you need that's loose 18 month calendar it has like to-do pages um meeting notes pages it has so much in for organization and i really am the organization queen i write a to-do list every single day so this is like a dream come true for me it's like 
perfect. It's exactly what I need. My mum and dad also got me this, which is a bottle of Baby Sham. Um, and it's in this really nice, like, gold glitzy bottle. Basically, I don't really like alcohol. Well, I kind of like, I do like champagne and Prosecco, but in general, I don't really like alcohol. I always just have Diet Coke. And that's literally just because I don't like the taste of alcohol. And I have a really, really, really bad sweet tooth. So my mum and dad thought that I would like Baby Sham because it, sa it even says that it is a sparkling peri with sugar and sweetener. I haven't actually drunk this yet. This is what it looks like. It has like a little Bambi on. It's really cute. And my mum says that this is like a really old thing that like used to drink in the 70s. Um, but I think it's really, really cool. I'm definitely gonna keep the case if I ever get around to drinking it. Once my mum and dad bought me a bottle of something for like my 18th and three years later, I still hadn't touched it. And I was like, do you want this? <laughs> I also got this amazing dressing gown from Topshop. I, again, I'm like the dressing gown queen I wear my dressing gown every single day and I'm telling you it's like the coziest thing in the whole wide world and it has little ears here and like it's just so nice I just want to leave this on for the rest of the video but I'm going to take it off and put it on after the video I also got this poopery before you go toilet spray we're not going to talk too much about this but i just wanted to show you because if there are any like ibs sufferers out there like i just want to present you with this maybe do a little bit of research and it will tell you what it does but it was a pretty pretty useful present i also got a cogsworth clock I do not know where I'm going to put this. I think this is from Primark. I think it just says Disney, but I think it's from Primark and it's Cogsworth and it's a real clock. <laughs> I don't know where to put it, but it's very cool. I also got some reading material. I got the little book of Prada and the little book of Chanel and they're quite cute, like coffee table books. Um, but I also really love reading this kind of book. They are just really inspiring to me. It's also just gonna look really cute on the bookshelf that I don't have, but that I will one day have. Then I got some really, really cute stuff in my stocking. First of all, this cat headband. I think this is from Primark. And this is like a headband that you put on your head like while you're washing your face to keep your hair out of your face or your makeup. Um, and it's really soft and it's pink and it has cat ears. I actually really love that. I'm gonna use that every day. Then I got some Marie slipper socks and I died when I opened these because they are so soft. And Marie is my favorite, as you guys know, because last year, I got this big Marie. And Marie is pretty much my Disney spirit animal. Like if I had to pick a Disney character that my personality was most like, it would probably be Marie. I also got this beautiful mug, which I love. It's just like a cream china mug and it has a lovely gold handle and a cat in gold. White and gold, firstly as a color scheme, is everything and cats. I'm the cat person. So I really, really love this. This is so me and so my style. So I'm obsessed with this. I was like, wow. Then I've got this photo frame, which I opened and I was like <gasps> enchanted by because it's actually everything. Like it's pink and gold, which like white and gold, pink, white and gold is my color scheme of life. It's so like princessy, chic, vintagey looking. It has like a lovely rose here and it's just so pretty. And it's like brushed with like gold glitter. It's just, again, so my style. Like I was like, wow, that is perfect. Then I got this, which, um, I lied because this was also on my Christmas list. I literally just had two things on my list. This was one of them um, and it's a power bank and there's a story behind this. Basically, I had this um, and I got this just before I went to LA. So this is it, it's rose gold and it's like a supercharger. You can put two thingies in at once and it has like four or five full charges in it. It's really powerful. So I took it to LA and it was really useful because we were going out like from first thing in the morning and not coming back till nighttime. And there were two of us, so we were both using it and it was just like a lifesaver and then we went to a Six Flags theme park I've never been more angry in my life because we went on a water ride and usually when you go on a water ride you get splashed like you get a little bit wet going on this ride I may as well have jumped in a swimming pool or had a shower fully clothed with my handbag. I was in the foulest mood all day because I had to literally get my Louis Vuitton bag and pour water out of it like it was a bucket. And luckily, like, my phone is waterproof. Nothing else was damaged, luckily, apart from the fact that I had to walk around in soaking wet shoes all day. Oh, I'm still annoyed about it now. And the only thing that didn't survive the water was this. And I was 
so annoyed because I just got it and it was really, really good. So I'm so happy to have this back in my life and I'm not going to get it wet this time. Not taking it on any bloody water ride. In fact, I never want to go on a water ride again after that. Next, I actually got another portable phone charger. It's this one. It's called the Pearl Compact Mirror Battery Pack. And this is more like one that you would take out every day with you because it only has, I think, one charge in. Um, and it's not like anywhere near as heavy as the other one. And I thought the packaging on this was so nice. I was so impressed. Look, it comes in a really nice little box. So you open it up, here's the mirror, and it's actually like a really big mirror with a zoom mirror, magnifying mirror as well. Um, and then you can also put a light on, like it lights up. So it's a light up mirror and a phone charger, which I just thought was actually magnificent. So I'm so happy with this, it's so useful. And then the last few things I got, um, firstly this beautiful little rainbow maker. So this is a little like pink crystal heart that you actually hang like from your window pane and when the sun shines through the window, it shines through the crystal and it makes like all rainbows in your room. I also got this little ballerina music box, which I love, it's so beautiful. Um, and it has swans on because it plays Swan Lake, which is one of my favorite ballets. So how do I make it stop? Oh god, no I don't have to make it stop. Oh my god, how far did I wind up? And of course it would not be Christmas without a Yankee candle and my little cousin actually got me this and I thought that was so sweet and he actually did a really good job because he didn't even know that this is a fragrance that I've had before and it's one of my favourites um, and it's Winter Glow and I literally just ran out of this from last Christmas. It smells like really clean, fresh, twinkly snow. It's just very, very lovely and I can't wait to burn this. And after that it was pretty much just all sweets and chocolate which I've stuffed into my pink furry stocking. There's enough chocolate in this stocking for 2018. <laughs> so that's everything that I got for Christmas this year. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all had a really, really lovely Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!